Hey, don't adjust the channel. You rocking with your boy Blade. Ain't no telling what we gonna get into today. It's gonna be action packed. I want you to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get the freshest, the hottest, the newest videos. This channel is all about inspiration. It's all about positivity, good energy. But we definitely gonna have fun. We gonna work hard. We gonna think smart. But we gonna have fun more than anything on this channel. But I want y'all to let all your friends know, even your baby mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not myself. Wow. See how they jacking my style. How your boys liking me now? I could've quit, but I didn't. I just been flexing my fitness like, like wow. Wait till I hop in the jack. Wait till I got me a bag. Wait till I cash out a check. Telling my mama I'm next. Gotta like wow. Gotta like wow. Whoa. From racks to the riches. My base is still hitting. Been hoping and wishing. These boys politic in my pockets. Can't kick it, but still by my business. Yeah. I'm still with the fitness, my perfect attendance. The reason I'm in it, been needing them digits, been feeding the vision, can't stop at the finish. I'm cracking the whip, look at the flick of the wrist. Watch out while fucking your bitch. Oh man, so I'm about to uh, crank up this car. And I have uh, got to move the Taurus out. Got a car coming. So I'm going uh, to see if these bolts fit. I'm going to show you all the bolts that I just got. For the spindles, possibly to see their fit. Gotta make sure that he say the right pitch, or wherever they may be. Um, definitely might have to find some more bolts uh, for some other things on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I brought out Mr. Tropic Canada today. I'm finna be forced to have to take all the cars to the house because I do not have enough space to work and to have car storage. So right now getting the money is the most important part. My daughter will be taking her driving test if everything goes good, this car will be leaving, um, leaving my possession. Um, I may just do, uh, have somebody check that electrical um, just on the rear brake, I mean on the rear tail lights and everything and uh, the reverse camera. So yeah, man, if this your first time tuning to the channel, man, welcome man, it's your boy Blaze. Uh, John Blaze 2004, everybody just called me Blaze, but uh, I'm an adrenaline junkie, but I like having a good time. I like building cool stuff and driving the hell out of it. So if you're into cars, motorcycles, dirt bikes, four wheelers, anything pretty much with a motor, bikes, um, um, we'll say um, jet skis, um, boats, anything with a motor that's fun, that can go fast and can be um, customized, painted, powder coated, uh, I mean, you know, all that type of stuff. I'm really into it. So um, it's about to be summertime. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to bring a lot of lit content um, with a lot of hot rods. But uh, y'all got to stay tuned, man. So I'm going to throw y'all in the time lapse. And man, before I throw y'all in the time lapse and I get to doing what I need to do, man, I need y'all to hit that like button. I need you to hit the share button. And for sure, for sure, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. So whenever I'm dropping a video, Y'all better see all the stuff that I'm seeing and enjoy it with me. And I'm going to keep it lit. So y'all just stay tuned. Yeah. So I ain't waste no time trying to assess what well, could be wrong with this car. As you can see, this fender has definitely been buckled. So that needs to be repaired, replaced. This could possibly be repaired. I'm gonna talk to uh, my body man because I may need a little bit of help, but I'm gonna try to take as far as I can by just tapping it out. I'm trying to make sure that it is not split. It could. Oh yeah. That fender split right there. Honestly, I would just rather just replace the whole front end, but to keep the cost down, it's the first car. And I try to put a lot of money into it. They just want to make sure it's running and that it's safe. So the main goal is to be able to make the hood not be able, uh, not not fly up. So that's going to require a, um, adjustments from there. The condenser, that's a separate um, repair. We're going to do the rebar, um, paint the fenders, and the like fine fenders and hood, which is going to be kind of hard to find one of these of 2006 that's not wrecked. But uh, yeah, I gotta, got the bumper off the grill. It fell on off. They had it good and strapped down. Um, I had the duct tape and everything. So I can see the duct tape on the side. So 
just trying to reverse engineer how this how this accident happened. So it's been a minute since I did a job. But I'm gonna take these headlights on off here in a minute, probably tomorrow. I mean, they got them in there now. Just trying to make sure that uh, I record and I, I, I document how the car comes in, the process, because that bolt right there, is not where it needs to be at because this fender has been pushed back too far. As y'all can see right there, that's a telltale sign that it's been pushed too far back. That metal is supposed to be sitting like this. It's sitting like that because the front is too far down. And you can see that it's perf a perfect V right now. So I got to reverse that, that V. It's showing signs right here that the radiator could possibly be punctured. But I think if I pull this out a little bit, That's where we at with that. So. Woo. Back, gotta get back in the motion, man. So, my mother hasn't been doing well. She's gone through kidney failure. Dollars has been, been really draining. And um, I wanna be more over here at the shop, but right now my family just need me a little bit more. I'm just asking for all my subscribers and everybody, you know, pray for my mother. Um, but I'm about to get up out of here for today. I'll be back here at the shop tomorrow because uh, today is Sunday. It's my off day. I try to take it easy on today. This is about the only day I can relax. Um, and um, yeah, man, shoot, finna go to the house. And I'm gonna kick with my lady for a little bit, man. But uh, we got more coming on this car right here. Y'all just gotta stay tuned. And hopefully we can learn something together, man. You know, it's all about elevating your skills, you know, and your knowledge. But before I go, I gotta move the cars around a little bit, and uh, yeah, that's that's where we at with this one, man. Don't look good at all. Don't look good, but we're definitely gonna get it where it needs to go. Now I gotta get all these headlights and everything out the way, so I can really take a good look at the rebar and how to remove it. And um, of course, I'm gonna show y'all one more thing before we get out of here. You always want to tag and bag. And so, with these cars. You know, there it is right there. All the pieces that I pull off, I like to put them on the passenger floor and all the bolts and brackets and clips and things of that nature. Uh, if it can fit in that bag, I like for it to fit in the bag. So, yeah, man. Surprise, this door is not popping with this fender. You're seeing how it's sitting. Because that fender definitely is not supposed to be that tight in certain places, but right there that's tight that's way too tight but we're gonna get that all fixed yeah y'all just gotta stay tuned man these little cars they're pretty cool very easy to find parts the only thing is you just can't hesitate when you find the parts don't say hey i'm coming tomorrow and then don't show up because when you call them say you know tomorrow my situation is monday if i don't get these parts no later than probably like tuesday wednesday they're probably gonna already be sold so i gotta get on the internet i gotta go do some research and uh, my Wi-Fi signal out here at the shop is not too good because I am in the country. So I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna move the tours back over and then I'm up out of here, man. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day. So man, y'all stay tuned. Yeah, man, so I just jumped in the truck. It's sunny as hell. I need to give me some glasses, some sunglasses. But uh, man, I gotta go all the way to the other side of town to get these uh, parts for this Honda Accord. I'm going to certify it. I'm gonna do some Kappa certified. Uh, if y'all don't know what Kappa certified is, that means it's close to OEM, it's as close to the original as possible. That way my nice, I get some nice fitment. So they got the hinges, the rebar, they got one of the hinges. They have rebar, two fenders, the hood and the front bumper. So I'm gonna go and grab all that stuff. I just jumped in the truck, then it warm up. And uh, I'm gonna throw y'all time lapse, man, while we go all the way over there, man, to the other side of town, man. So y'all just stay tuned. Yeah. Keeping my hand on the grip, been running this shit As long as I stick to the script, one day I'll be making it hit Wow, see how they jacking my style How 
your boys liking me now I could've quit but I didn't I just been flexing my fitness like wow Wait till I hop in the jack Wait till I got me a bag Wait till I cash out a check Telling my mama I'm next Gotta like wow Gotta like wow Yeah See I've been going through phases, yeah How your boys liking me lately, yeah I'm at the crib with your lady, yeah Yes, I just got off vacation, yeah Wish I didn't let these boys make it, nah Wish I didn't let these boys make it, nah Now I'm just losing my patience, yeah Wait till they calling me big dog Wait till I'm popping off Chris Stark I've been popping, she bopping, I skirt off When that money right, I'ma take off Long nights gonna pay off Take flight, fuck a date job So yeah, I cut the compressor on to go ahead and bust this car down so I can start doing the comparisons and start trying to get everything aligned as y'all can see right there the hand just push that way so I just hit up my air I'm gonna cut this last little I mean I had so many zip ties on this car I've never seen a car with this many zip ties in my life I shouldn't have took this car home, but it is what it is. I uh, went and got those Kappa certified. So those are the two fenders. I uh, got to figure out what hinge I have. And I do have a rebar, so I'm going to spend a lot of my time tonight just busting this car down. I was trying to see... How much this stuff I can save, but it don't really look like I'm gonna be able to save much. That V, that V is very uh, crazy. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to lift this up. I'm gonna see if I can put a jack, uh, possibly, and push this up. Maybe use my hydraulic jack. So. We'll see how that goes. But uh, I ain't finna waste some time. I'm finna throw y'all back in time laps. And I'm finna keep it moving, man. So y'all just stay tuned. Hey, when it's all yours, and my ain't tight, y'all don't want war. Bitch. Wow. See how they jacking my style. How your boys liking me now? I could've quit, but I did it. I just been flexing my fitness like, like wow. Wait till I hop in the jack. Wait till I got me a bag. Wait till I cash out a check. Telling my mama I'm next. Gotta like wow. Gotta like wow. So, I had to make a couple adjustments. I was using this floor jack and uh, this big old block to try to get this rebar off because it had got um, really crazy. Uh, I did a couple pulls. I pulled this out. I think I now I'm going to go ahead and go back with that block and jack this up a little bit before I put the rebar on there. Now that I'm looking at it, I want to... Check the rebar real quick. I kind of overextended this just a little bit. I made a pull from here. And it, it brought brought it out. But while I was bringing it out, it collapsed it here at the top. That's something I'm probably just going to have to live with right there. That little small flaw. But it's no longer on the radiator. That condenser is very bent. As y'all can see, that condenser is bent. Um, but I'm just here to just make everything look better that's my only job uh, on this on this one i can definitely see there's a big old v in there man still so what i'm gonna do right now that i'm looking at it, i'm gonna bring this floor jack back in and i'm gonna try to make this adjustment and i'm gonna try to make this last little adjustment tonight as you can see that's that's way too far in it's still crushed in right there um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's probably just going to have to stay. But I think if I push up on it, maybe it might get a little bit straighter. Put a little heat on it, maybe tap it. Maybe tap that in. Because I want to raise it up a little bit more. I'm not sure about this latch yet. I'm hoping that I can save it. Um, it don't look like it really took too much of an impact because the V was here at the bottom. It looked like he hit like directly where the rebar and everything was. Um, this lady bought this car for her daughter's, uh, like her granddaughter's first car or something like that. 
and um, she bought it from her nephew. He had already wrecked it. So I got the new rebar in there. I put the hinge on there. I'm trying to test fit the new fenders. I took um, the hood and fenders off. I'm not throwing nothing away until everything is um, final and finished. Then I'll run everything to the scrap yard. And uh, yeah, man, your boy putting in some late hours, man. I enjoy this type of stuff. But um, sometimes, man, it can be really frustrating when you don't know which direction you're going in. Uh, right now, I'm just feeling really motivated. It's been a minute since I got a chance to do a wreck, so I'm not doing no complaining. I'm just making it happen. So I'm going to throw y'all on time lapse, man, and see if I can make these little adjustments, man. But y'all stay tuned. moving around right about now i've been up since like seven o'clock this morning trying to run down these parts of this accord i just want to go ahead and get this stuff over with i uh bought the grill the shell um got all the grill stuff i bought um yesterday we picked up all the hood um fenders and um last night as y'all can see i was uh tearing the car down made a couple pulls I was able to put the rebar back on. It like it's it's pretty straight. I'm just worried about the the top part of the radiator support a little bit. It seems a little flimsy, and I'm worried about the hinge. Um, you know, with that hinge right there, the little hinge. Uh, I want to make sure that it works. So I had to finesse it a lot. So uh, not the hinge, but the the latch, the hood latch. I did buy uh, hinges. That's why I was saying hinges. I bought a set of hinges from Certifit yesterday uh, for the driver's side. I installed it um, and it looks really good and it's working and everything, but now I'm looking for the passenger side. I just went ahead and I decided that it'd be best to go ahead and put new hinges on there. Um, I know for sure the passenger side was bent, but if the passenger side bent, most likely the driver's side was bent. It's like, like probably like a 90% chance that it's Bent, you know what I mean? So I don't want to risk that. So I done got bored. I'm out here in Arlington. I'm waiting for the paint to mix the paint at the paint store. I'm gonna go back and pick that up. And then uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Summit right now. They still mixing the paint. Just grab me something to eat. And uh, damn, that was just a wreck. I'm finna spin this around so y'all can see. Damn. That ain't good. They tore that little, sheesh. That Corolla's tore up. Damn, they ran in the back of the Lexus, all Toyota products. But yeah, I'm over here in Arlington off of Cooper. And I'm finna just go here. I'm finna head over here to um, Summit, man. So it's one of the major intersections over here in this Arlington area. But damn, just like that, I'm, I'm filming like she. And that's not bad, 502. 9500. That'd be you'd be like twelve thousand dollars. CID, long block, four bolt main, five hundred and eight horsepower. Jeez, that thing beautiful, man. Golly, that thing look good. Four fifty four, seven thousand. Four twenty seven stroker aluminum heads for about main. Jeez. Got the Holly intake on there. What's that blueprint? Oh man. I might have one new. This one's still here. 
Now nah, this is actually something different, I believe. Engine the transmission is going for man. That's what I really need. Thousand dollar transmission, seven hundred R. Is that seven hundred R? Well, I know that's a badass one right there. Let's see what else is up in here? I was looking at all this exhaust. The headers. I think that might be what I need right there. Temple, paint, Chevy. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be saying that. Looking at all this stuff. I think I need all this stuff, man. But I'm really just looking for a nice pair of headers. That's all I need. I definitely want to get a better radiator. It's a BMW. The Mishimoto. The Mishimoto ain't no joke. Always seen these be cool radiators. Always see people always talk about those be cool. That's a nice one next to it. Real similar look like. I don't know, I kind of like these cold cases a little bit more. And it's only 125 for this joint. Did this be nice? Damn, that Griffin. I got the fans on it. I see why that big cost so much. This is real nice. I like the weldings on this one. Dual core. Well, man, I'm finna go ahead and just keep on looking around. If I see something, I'm gonna cut y'all back on.